<laughs> final game. It is played here on Daybreak, as you guys can see. You, you actually lose the honor in the act, right, Kev? Yes, it's true. <laughs> I lost my honor a long time ago, though. <laughs> no shame in that. No. All right, man. Like you were saying, uh, Daybreak is the final map. And, uh, well, I have no idea what we're going to see here, man. It's a big map. Anything could happen. Yeah, this this map is kind of nice for one of those three gate aggression build, uh, builds that we've seen for quite a while. Um, if you pass that phase, it's a very nice robo expand map. Blink stalkers on dual side are nice because you're actually able to blink into the main base. On daybreak, that's simply not possible unless you're standing over here and you blink over and over here. But obviously, that doesn't matter much when a Protoss army is standing over here. So, robo expand is mostly the way to go on this map. But uh, the opening phase is also very crucial. Sometimes you see four gates. The three gate with double assimilator is pretty popular here because there are a lot of places you can hide a probe early on and get a pylon up on your opponent's side of the map. So we'll see. We will see, Kev. Now, like you were saying, uh, the real reason that um, that the Robo Expand style is so much, well, it's so strong here, is because there's just not the same amount of surface area to blink into, right? Nope. Exactly. On a map like Antigua Shipyard, for example. This uh, this main base is entirely exposed to mm. the low ground. You can blink up from so many different angles. And on daybreak, there's really only one or two points of entry. Yeah, that's uh, super true. We see Pozzo with a pretty quick double assimilator. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be two and two. As we can see right now, he just mm. has two probes over here. You so know, another yeah. pretty common build on this map is that DT opening, that DT expand. Yes, that is true. Which is crazy to think, uh, which is crazy considering the fact that this is actually quite a good robo map. But DTs are no longer the DTs of, oh, I have to sneak them in and kill 15 probes, otherwise I lose the game. No, because DTs also guarantee you that your opponent has to worry about them, will stay past it for a while, and it also allows you to take your own expand. And if he then wants to make a follow up push with anything that doesn't include immortal. Uh, doesn't doesn't include Colossus or Archons, your chart lots, which you should have by then, are going to be amazing. They will be invincible. No, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't say they're invincible, man. But they're going to be pretty they're damn good. They're not goody charge lots. <laughs> Nothing is goody charge lots. Imagine if you could make goody charge. Imagine lots. if goody wow. was a charge lot. <laughs> 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 I, I'd summon him every game. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be that one zealot which comes back like deep red, three HP, but eighteen kills. <laughs> 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 invincible. <laughs> You know, Goody. You know, Sixteen of those were clothed. Zealots <laughs> have ponytails. You know, Goody kind of has that whole long hair thing going on. <laughs> See, uh, hero on double assimilated now as well. Then, so far, no additional buildings have been dropped. Ooh, Pozzo's dropping the Stargate. This is a pretty mm. decent Phoenix map as well. Well, hero is going for Twilight Council. So neither of these two guys, despite it being a good Robo Expand map, is going for the Robo Expand. Yeah. Which is sort of ironic, but then again, that also plays into meta games. Starcraft changes all the time. Oh, this map is so good for Robo Expand. Well, if I go Phoenix, then I'm going to be in pretty good shape. Well, since people do go Phoenix from time to time, I'm in pretty bad shape with my Robo Expand. Maybe I should go Blink Stalkers again. While the Blink Stalkers would have been very good against the Robo Expand, it's going to be pretty good against the Stargate opening from Puzzle. All right, you are, Kev. Twilight Council finishing up, and Blink should start right up. Or maybe we'll see... So much Chrono Boost for a hero. A Dark Shrine? Nope, there it is. Blink goes down. He had so much gas. I was getting excited. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that all gas? gas? All that gas inside your base. Assimilator. Assimilator. Dexa. So three gates down. Blink on the way. And uh, this is almost a blind counter for here. Almost. Phoenix is, you know... Yes. Well, Blink Stalker is good against Phoenixes, but they don't. It's not GG. No, it's it's definitely not GG. But Hero is probably good enough to realize that as soon as he's gonna spot the Phoenix, uh, which uh, I think he just did already with that one Stalker. I think he's gonna drop a Nexus. I don't think he wants to win his on one base. He could if you go to, if you were gonna push the issue right now, you might have a chance to win it straight away with Blink Stalkers. But it's also risky if your opponent gets a lot of Zealots out, one or two Immortals, then with the Phoenixes he's going to be fine. So what I think Hero is going to do is expand, and he's like, well, good luck lifting up one or two probes if you stay around for too long i'm gonna blink below your phoenixes i'm gonna pick them off and i'm gonna have a better economy than you uh immediately puzzle is gonna go ahead and transition into rova now there are still some follow-ups that he could do uh, phoenixes yeah. you know they can harass who maybe pick up the sentry that's exactly what he does sentry of course a light armored unit takes extra damage from these phoenixes and we can see but these uh, stalkers blinking below the phoenix doing some real damage it's not a whole lot but 
16 HP. And that's exactly what I was going to talk Ooh, about. If, that's a lot if, more. Ooh, don't want to take that much damage. If Puzzle can keep the sentry count as close to zero as possible, and then follow this up with a big push with Immortals and Zealots, that could be really hard for Hero to hold. That is definitely true. Uh, that is always the tricky thing. Like dropping the Nexus against Phoenixes is not hard. Uh, what is kind of hard is you, is my opponent actually going to expand or is he going to follow this up with a one base push? And there are certain one base pushes with Phoenixes, which, as you pointed out, Ben can be very strong. But the Hero is just such a good scouter. Just uh, with a single probe, he just scouted this Nexus, and I think right now Hero is going to be pretty satisfied with this state of the game. Yeah, I think he should be. He's. Uh He's only one worker behind Puzzle, but his Nexus is up much faster, so he'll actually overtake Puzzle here shortly. He's continuing to produce these Blink Stalkers, and the Phoenixes, they're not going to do a whole lot more damage. Nope, he has to be careful. You don't want to lose those Phoenixes. They can definitely be useful in the, in the fight, and, uh, well... Puzzle knows that the Stalker count is pretty decent for Hero. Might he's gonna try to lift up one, but he's gonna lose one Whoa. Phoenix right away. And that's exactly, these are just traits that you cannot afford to make. Hero is gonna follow this up with the Templar Archives, by the way. Yeah, he's that's gonna go charge a lot of mortal, I guess. Yeah, but I kind of wonder about that, because he already has the robotics facility. So he just purely did that for the Observer. And he knows what he's facing, so he must, uh, he must be feeling very, very confident in his threat. I'm really a bit surprised. 49 supply for Hero, 61 for Puzzle. He's got uh, he's got those Phoenixes out. He's got an Immortal out. That's why his supply well. is kind of mushroomed up a little bit. He's also getting that robotic space, so I guess he wants to start <laughs> working on getting some Colossi in play. Which I think is the right decision, uh, certainly against the uh, Zealot, uh, Zealot Archon, if that is going to happen, or against Blink Stalks in general. It's really nice. As soon as the Colossus count is up to two with Thermal Lens, you're going to be fine on a map like Daybreak. I just kind of wonder if he's going to use those Archons to really push. Oh. Yeah, he's not made any Archons That's yet. Nice. I think he's going to leave him as High Templar for a little while and see if he can catch some Phoenixes with some feedback. And that would be pretty sick. That would be super sick. Uh, certainly because these Phoenixes have been gathering quite a bit of energy. Feedback will kill... Well, none of these Phoenixes right now, but in the near future they will kill them. Still have stocks here. Blink going Ooh. down. The hero is so quick. That Excellent Phoenix minimap awareness. Definitely died with feedback right now. Yep. Feedback still one of the coolest spells in the game. <laughs> because it's so deadly, it's like yeah, one yeah. shot, one kill. <laughs> Almost like the golden gun, man. But then in mana. The golden gun. Now Hero is going to drop his own uh, robotics bay as well. So yeah, he's not going for the Archons, he's going for the robotics bay. Do -do 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 -do. I like that. It's going to oh blink below the Phoenix's stalkers. Get off a little bit of a volley. I love that Hero is just planting pylons all around the map. If, uh, if Puzzle ever pushes out, Hero will be able to warp in behind it. These Phoenixes are going to come over here into the main base, and Kev... Ooh, they're going to be flying right into the Templar! Boom! Wow. I've seriously never seen this. Awesome. Feedbacks, two Phoenixes straight away, picks them up. It's going to wipe in a couple of Blink Stalkers. Uh, will that? No, uh, will not wow. be able to pick up this Phoenix. But the, the Phoenix flying back to his base with a tear in his eye. Oh yeah, he's oh like, my, my body's been gone. I never know what's, I never saw it coming. <laughs> Something happened, man. Something purple. Dude, did you? The Phoenix driver is literally a zealot. It's a zealot wearing a pilot's helmet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it oh. looks so funny. Uh, Puzzle is up a little bit in supply, but losing those two Phoenixes costs quite a bit. This has been such a, a safe if you look at the resources lost. It's really two of those. Are actually, three of those are Phoenixes. That's really the only thing that is lost. Hero maybe lost a few probes and once uh, one sentry. That's it. Mm -hmm. Two probes and that sentry. You're exactly right. Uh, right now, Puzzle's just turtled up inside of his natural. This is not a, a base that Hero can easily attack into. Uh, it's just uh, uh, Zealots, Immortals, Colossi. That's, that's as good of a defending army as you can hope for. Yep, he doesn't have to worry anything about these Blink Stalks right now. Don't do it, Hero. Don't blink into the main base. He's going to blink into the main base. Bloop. I, I, this is this just like purely sacrificial. He just knows with four Stalkers, I'm going to one-shot probes. Uh, so this is all he wants to do, but he knows that these four Stalkers, they are going to die. It's okay, man. Stalkers come back as immortals after they die, and they're going to get a lot of probe kills in the process. Well, he we could have got a few more there. Now he's lost his first stalker. Now it's going to be harder to pick up probes already. He did kill a ton of probes once more while these stalkers are still alive. Don't tell me they're actually going to survive. Run away! Run away from me, lover. Would Tom Cruise be a stalker? Wow, if, if these stalkers are actually going to survive, uh, maybe he won't. Oh. Wow, wow but they did these get out of there. Survive. That's so ridiculous. Puzzle did not handle that well, but that was insanely well done by Hero. How Five many probes HP did he kill there? Eleven HP, probes. Yeah, a ton of ton of worker kills there. That's and, so uh, crazy. How is that even possible? The rest of his stalker force right behind, <laughs> keeping Puzzle turtled up in his base. Hero's playing beautifully right now, taking a third base behind it. 
Uh, still hasn't made any Archons, Kev. No, he's got one Archon. Where is it? Just kind of chilling out. Yeah, those were the two High Templars because he was afraid that they would might be able to get picked off. And when he saw there was only a single Phoenix left and he couldn't attack air, he thought, hey, maybe if I turn it into an Archon, the Archon will kill the Phoenix. But that uh, turned out to be not necessary. Hero still being active with those Blink Stalkers. Resource lost right now. Puzzle lost a little bit more than Hero. Hero did uh, lose a little bit more right now, losing that pylon and losing the Stalkers. But it was totally worth it because he killed 11 probes. This is something you won't see very often. One Protoss player opening Phoenix, the other one opening uh, with a Robo, well, and then Blink Stalkers, and that guy killing more probes. That's sort yeah, of impossible. Really impressive. But these guys continuing to play it safe and play it slow. Puzzle just going to creep out, take a third base. And, uh, you know, he's, he's split up his army nicely. It'll be very difficult for Hero to attack up into this. Puzzle's going to get his own Templar Archives now as well, so we might see him adding a few uh, Archons. We see Charts is on the way for Puzzle. Upgrade Rise Ban, it's uh, pretty even. We see 1-0 for Puzzle, I believe. Uh, Hero is 1-0 as well, and 2-0 uh, is on the way while Puzzle is going for 1-1. And, you know, incredibly, the Worker Tab, almost identical. 55 hmm. probes to 53 after all of that crazy harass that Hero did. So, I mean... Even though Hero's third's a bit faster, there's not a huge difference, or there, there won't be a huge difference in mm. the incomes of these two players. Colossus' numbers are completely even right now. Both these guys are going to have charge, so I do think it's going to come down Oop. pretty much to the engagement. He really wanted poor Phoenix. Huh? He did, man. That Phoenix already lost everything he loved He's in life. He's just, like, flying around crying all over the place. <laughs> yeah. See how his eyes are kind of glowing? <laughs> Those are tears, You see, man. like, these are tears, man. <laughs> these are not the lines in the sky. It's poor, poor tears. <laughs> He saw it like like Losing, <laughs> 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 Losing your friends is one thing, but seeing it... No, why? <laughs> and he's poised out. 163 supply for Just hero. get me out of this thing. 148. Why can't I fly to Ohana? <laughs> Look, like, you want to come with me? You and me? <laughs> Be my friend, <laughs> little probe. <laughs> I mean, I come in peace. I won't hurt you. <laughs> the probe doesn't believe we me. We can though. run away together. Yes. We'll be happy. I feel Chakuras is beautiful this time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, I don't know, man. Kind of like they Probably like, <laughs> <laughs> Love? <laughs> <laughs> oh, puzzle pushing out into the center of the map. He's got a pretty scary army. A lot of immortals in that mix. Five colossi against the seven colossi of Hero. Hero hasn't produced a single immortal here. And uh, I have to feel like in this instance, having the superior colossus count is definitely what you want. Yeah, but a few Immortals, if you can get them in range, it's really nice. Never underestimate the Immortals, man. Uh, what, did the Phoenix just die? No, he did die. Oh. His, his lonely life, he's joined his oh, After the probe Phoenix didn't want to follow him to Shakuros. <laughs> his life really had yeah. no meaning anymore. <laughs> I loved him. <laughs> it. Her? Couple of Stalkers running back to the main base. Puzzle's going to take out a few Pylons right now. Upgrades, of course, are going to be very important. We see Heroes working on 3, 1, 2, 2 is almost ready for Puzzle. So I would even say that Puzzle maybe has a small advantage. I rather have 2, 2 than 3. Well, with all those Colossus, mm, I'm not sure. We'll see. Puzzle is, uh, or I'm sorry, Heroes really utilizing the mobility of these Stalkers, yeah. running the army of Puzzle around a little bit. A couple of Charge Lots going to try and actually succeed. This is what the pro gets, man. <laughs> That's what the probe gets. You don't want to follow the Phoenix. You share the same fate. That's right, man. Maybe they can be together in the next life. <laughs> we see War Prison be on the way right now for Hero, and I think that's very smart. Certainly in this phase of the game, when often you have a ton of gateways, it's so nice to just wipe in a couple of Charizards in your opponent's base. If you kill a few pylons, <laughs> whole position on Zealots. Nice blink there by Hero is going to be able to take out. Hero is going to try to do the exact same thing, but a couple of Zealots here from Puzzle are able to say hello. Puzzle is ready for this. Oh, Puzzle micro. Eh? And uh, his base is going to go up uncontested. So nicely nice done micro there by Puzzle. By puzzle. Didn't yeah. lose a single Zella. Cute stuff. And that's going to mean that uh, Puzzle is going to be the guy that steps into it economically. We see a Stargate going down for Hero Kev. I guess the next step for yep. these guys is just adding that mothership. This game is going to is going to continue. Yep. If neither of these two guys wants to attack, and of course in Colossus Wars it's hard to attack. We see a Hero right now with nine Colossus though. We have with the Stalkers. And he will. Do we see a Fleet Beacon yet? Nope. We see a lot of cannons going up. Uh, it's over here in the left bottom side of the map. Man, you said fleet beacon yet, and it also sounded like you said yet. Like yet. Russian. <laughs> fleet beacon yet? Yet. No fleet beacon. Uh, fleet no. beacon not online. <laughs> not ready. Yet. But maybe ready soon. <laughs> we make a fleet beacon tomorrow. A <laughs> couple of zealots just storming in these uh, stalkers left and right. Both players microing a little bit, Whoa. but they're just waiting. Here we're taking a little bit of uh, unanswered damage there. Loses a couple of Colossi. That's not 
a good thing. Both, the, both these guys hanging out at about 180 supply. Fleet Beacon does go down Fleet first Beacon for da. Hero. <laughs> Not does, man. Da. <laughs> Not bad. Dark Shrine going up for Puzzle. Does Puzzle have... Um, who has the War Prism speed? That is Hero. Uh, Hero is going to get his War Prism now as well. Hero on purpose doesn't max out right now. How many probes does I play? Uh, exactly mm. 60, Ben. How crazy is that? Now, Hero showed off some really cool stuff at DreamHack using Hallucinate to uh, make multiple War Prisms and uh, really force one player or force his opponent to choose, you know, where to defend. You can't just put your units where you see the War Prism because it might be Ooh. a fake. Uh, he doesn't have Hallucinate in this game just yet, but it could be something that we'll see later on. It's 10 Colossus against 7 Colossus, Ben, but 5 Archons for Hero, Hero 7 Archons for Puzzle, and 3 Immortals. It's really all going to come down to will those Immortals gain in range, but right now I can only imagine that it all comes down to the fact that Hero wants to not fight until he has that Mothership out. We see Puzzle's getting his own double Stargate. I think he forgot that he already has a Stargate, unless he wants to go for Void Race, which some people like to do as a surprise, but that's only good if you have like a 40 supply free cushion, which he doesn't have. Yep, Zealot Warp in, in the main base of Puzzle doing a little bit of damage. There are Zealots to defend and a Colossus as well, so uh, Hero not going to do any sort of oh, game ending damage. Big warp in right now for Hero. It might be able to pick off at least his Colossus. Oh, he wants to. Even warping in a couple of Stalkers, but it's not no. going to happen. Puzzle warped in a lot of units as well. Very smart, but Puzzle to not max out either. Mm -hmm. The moment you're maxed out in situations like this, it's always hard to defend those drops. But Hero did exactly what he wanted. All he wanted was to save some time yep. for Le Mothership. She is almost here. <laughs> Puzzle gets Fleet Beacon right now after the second target is ready. I really think that was a mistake that he forgot he had one. Oh, yeah, I opened Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's like 20 minutes ago. You can't blame him. I didn't know Colossus I could walk up on this little hill. Which one? I, in the, uh, this? by the Zonaga Tower. This? Yeah. Look on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> that's can you drop cool. up there? You can't, right? I don't think you can. Man, Colossi breaking the metagame. What if you, like, I wonder if he could like step off and Do you think this space. Colossus can see further than this one? <laughs> 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 it's a beautiful view. Yeah. Man, that Phoenix. He has no idea what he misses. <laughs> Why would you ever want to leave this place? A lot of Zealots right now on the north side of the map from Puzzle, but he's gonna just going to run into six cannons. What is Zealots this High Templar Very doing? well upgraded. <laughs> Scouting High Templar there out in front. It uh, takes one poke from the Archons and runs away. Uh, puzzle not going to be able to engage man, these there. zealots, man. Three one, uh, three three zealots. Uh, three one three is on the way. Hero already working on his second shield upgrade. Hero lost all those cannons, and now he's going to realize. Puzzle knows that a few units are out of position. He's going to attack, but the, where is the mothership? Uh, she's on the map, but where? I don't actually see her. Oh, she's coming up from beneath. Ooh. She was coming over from the main base, but wow, still. I imagine he would have dropped a vortex from over here. I think that's what Hero wants to do. Puzzle still lost a lot of units in that exchange. Both I, I of these all guys of these should definitely have high Templars in their army because it's really worth trying to get a feedback off on that mothership. Uh, we see Puzzle has eight high Templars right now. Well, it's probably just going to make a lot of them into Argos. No, he knows about this mothership. Look, I think he really wants... Man, what a great way to, to end the regular season of the North American Star League. Sending it off with an epic PvP. We're 30 minutes in and uh, no signs of stopping just yet, Kev. If he only could see here, man. If this High Templar could only be the hero. Oh, the High Templar. Oh, the Mothership is making their way into the pylon, man. This puzzle, oh, this High Templar of puzzle could get a feedback of it so close. No, he's not going to get it off. A couple of stalkers over here from Hero on the north side. Puzzle trying to save some time for his own Mothership. I really still believe that this High Templar... No, he's not going to be the hero. I can't <laughs> believe that in the midst of all of this, Hero still has the balls to split up his army and send yeah. out 10, 12 huh. supply. Wow, look at this. Feedback! <laughs> Feedback. Oh. Feedback? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I want to see a feedback. You can't feedback a warp prison. No, but, you can, no, but he had high templars in the warp prison, so oh, you could feedback. Oh, feedback the high templar. Yeah, how cool is that? Oh, oh that warp prison. prison flying dangerously close to those archons. Storm drops in PvP, Ben. It's something that you don't see very often, <laughs> but I still think... Oh, a hero doesn't have storm yet. I don't think he was aware of that. Feedback drop on the mothership. I think we might see that. Look at this. War Prism is going to get in range. Yeah, uh, boom, there it is. Feedback's the mothership. No energy for Puzzle. Uh, that means that Hero could force a fight now. He's got the energy for Vortex. You made me super paranoid, man. <laughs> Next time, be more, pro be more precise. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, the, what, the, what are you talking about? But I don't think it's going to trigger a re reaction just yet. But yeah, it was a very nice move. Then again, he didn't even have the energy for a Vortex yet. But now it's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, definitely buys some time, but uh, but you're right. None of these guys really positioned f uh, to force the fight. And look yeah. at these crazy armies, Kev. Really ten colossi, <laughs> ten archons against nine colossi. 
Well, Nine Archons. I think it's safe to say that getting a Vortex off will be pretty important. I think uh, I think you're exactly right. And having no energy for Vortex actually means that Hero could just Vortex this ramp and Puzzle would never be able to reinforce. And I oh, think that might be what we're going to see. Feedback. Mothership comes Feedback. forward and Vortex goes down. Feedback goes off. It is not fast enough. And what the hell happens next? Mothership, is, Mothership got Vortexed. The mothership of Puzzle is in this vortex. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I have no idea. Everything <laughs> is, is going to die. Here we go. Massive amounts of splash damage. Colossi and Archons and everything dying on both sides. Hero supply actually falling faster. And Puzzle is going to come out better in this exchange than Hero does. Turning Hero around. Hero down at 115 supply and being forced to retreat. Wow, loses the mothership. Puzzle still has his mothership allowed. Did you ever see... There's no observer. The observer was picked off in... Uh, I guess that was all the splash damage. Right? Th that's right. There's not a single observer out for Hero. No, there's two of them, but where are they? There's one over here. There's speed observers as well. I don't think it was just that. I mean, the Vortex was great, but having Immortals in situations like this, when the Immortals are actually in range of units like that, I really think that it helped quite a bit. And of course, the warping uh, bonus that Puzzle, uh, Puzzle could warp in and reinforce all the time, and he has a ton of gates, and that really, really helps. Ridiculous PvP here. Uh, right now, Hero Three rebuilding his fight. Mothership. Puzzle has the Mothership, and uh, the next fight, he'll have Vortex. Yeah. I never saw Vortex going off on the non-Mothership. <laughs> It's like the first time I saw a mothership getting vortex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice engagement here by Puzzle with all those archons. This is looking really scary. Will we see a vortex? I don't think. Maybe I think we will. it's going. No, well, actually, Puzzle's just going to crush it. forward. Hero does not have enough units. Storm's going down. We very seldom see this in PvP, but Puzzle. At 160 supply against 120 of Hero will crush this expansion and continue to march forward. There is a vortex. I don't know. I don't know what the hell it's catching. A lot of random units. A couple of Puzzle's own <laughs> units going to go in there. His own Colossi. And they're going to pop out and uh, do some more big damage to Hero. Hero down below 100 supply. Puzzle at 160. Looks like he's going to take this series. And that means that uh, he will finish the North American Star League Season 3 in first place. Moves into the playoffs as the number one seed. What a series that we saw out of these guys. A couple of crazy games and then an action-packed 30-minute <laughs> virtually mined-out daybreak. The only expansions that aren't getting taken are uh, 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock because you just can't possibly hold them. Hero is still mining 1,300 minerals a minute, and he's still sort of hanging in there. Uh, he's trying to pick off Reem. No, he's just having observers right now. But this is just such a super scary army. But Hero has his own mothership again. He's going to try to make something happen, but he's losing a lot of units right now. And these Colossus from Puzzle, they're just completely untouched. Yep, uh, nothing to really answer for the Colossi. Puzzle continues to push forward. Hero trying to muster one final fight. And uh, he does muster one final fight, but it's not a fight that he can possibly win. GG. <laughs> Puzzle takes the series. Puzzle wins the league. Puzzle wins the regular season of the NASL, yeah. and he didn't win the league yet. He's let's not the champion. Let's not take yet. another look at that final fight, because that was ridiculous. Why did that go so well for Puzzle? I want to see it. I really think that the war pins matter a lot. Uh, the Vortex was good. Like I felt that he had time to feedback. Look, feedback, feedback. Ah, it think, doesn't happen. I think Puzzle had more Archons, Kev. Like, look at look at all yeah. these Archons he has. Yeah, Puzzle had more Archons. He had more Archons throughout the entire game. So look, I mean, <laughs> So uh, while Hero gets this off and he wants to do all this crazy <laughs> splash damage, Puzzle actually comes out, like, he comes out of there punching. He's like, whoop! Giant fist punch right to the face of Hero. And uh, you just see him immediately Hero's supply just, bam, just drops like 30 just right off the bat. And, uh, and from there, Puzzle in a really strong position. Yeah, the Immortals helped out a ton. Um, the Immortals are so good in situations like this. Once I played against a guy who made uh, Immortal Void yeah. Ray with a Mothership, and I had like just a lot of stalkers to deal with it, and then I got Vortex, and then these Immortals, they just mm. killed everything. And during all of that, Observers did fly into cannons. That meant that uh, Puzzle's army was cloaked, and Hero wasn't able to really fight it for a period of time until yeah. he was able to get new Observers into position. Incredible PvP to close out the regular season of the North American Star League. Guys, tune in all week to see more games yes. like 
these. I mean, this is this is it. This is the postseason. This is the playoffs. It today all was comes just a warm up, and to this. This, today was an appetizer. Right, Tomorrow is where it really, really starts. Andre and Fro uh, Froden. Why do I keep Andre and Frotorp is what I want to say all the time. Are going to cast the first playoff matches tomorrow or wild card, but it's basically already started the playoffs. Mm -hmm. It's the first round of the playoffs. It's going to be Red versus Torres and best of five. Beastie versus Moro, best of five. Galaxy versus Hazel, best of five. And Strelok versus TT1, best of five. I can see here already uh, four, five, five guys who were at the NASL season two finals. We're going to see in action tomorrow in our playoffs. It is a huge day and it, everything is on the line. From this point forward, if you lose a series, you're going it's home, man. That's it. Congrats on the good season, but finito. Yep. From now on, the, you know, the winner stays, the loser, you can pack it up and prepare the for next season. These are the moments when champions like LeBron James stand up and carry through. <sighs> right, Ben? You know, I, I hate to admit it, but LeBron's playing like a champ. We'll see if he can close it out. One <laughs> we'll game away. We'll see. Well, Ben, I think it's time for you to wrap up the day. Let's and wrap uh, up the day. It's been a great day, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, more incredible playoff StarCraft coming up tomorrow Can't and wait. all week long. We're, this is, of course, the build-up to the Grand Finals in Toronto, Canada. We hope you can all see us there. Before we close it out, we have to thank our sponsors. Epson Projectors, the number one projector brand worldwide. They offer a full line of bright projectors with brilliant image quality. Check them out at epson.com slash projectors for details. Azo Monitors, the best in gaming and production monitor technology. They're over at azo.com. Kingston HyperX and their full line of memory and solid state drives are one of our primary sponsors here at the North American Star League. They're at kingston.com. Go check them out. Check out GameMinder, the smartphone app that allows you to set reminders for video game releases and North American Star League broadcasts. They're at handleopper.com. Search GameMinder. I buy power PCs, the PCs that power the North American Star League. They're at iBuyPower.com. And last but certainly not least, Twitch TV, our streaming partner. I have one final announcement for you guys, and this is actually... A uh, really cool thing that, uh, that is happening here in Southern California. So for any of our local Southern, Southern California peeps, uh, Friday at the Grid Cyber Lounge in, in Chino Hills, California, is, uh, is a LAN. A, a very, uh, it's, it's a small-ish LAN. There's a lot of great players in Southern California. I'm sure it'll be pretty, comp uh, pretty competitive. Uh, but it's a, it's, a <laughs> it's a $10 buy-in. Half of the proceeds will go to tsunami victims from Japan, of course. Uh, that uh, disaster was a while ago, but they're still rebuilding over there, and uh, these guys continuing to give to the uh, reconstruction effort over in Japan. So please go support the uh, SC2 for Missions land at the Grid Cyber Lounge in Chino Hills, California, this Friday, June 22nd, noon to 5 p.m. Be there or be square, Kev. We can be there and then like make our way over to the NHL Final Friday. Do we work on Friday? Yes, we do. Well, we start at 6. <laughs> there you go. We'll just go over there and we'll just be like, to hell with you, boss. We're not coming in early. We're going to the, 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 to the grid. We'll run in 5.30, tie all loose. We ain't ready, but we'll be ready. It's playoff time. Well, Ben, I think it's time to wrap the day up. Thanks, everyone, for watching. It was uh, fun, and it's going to be much, much more fun in the upcoming days. So, guys, make sure that you're going to tune in at NSL.TV every day from now on, 6 p.m., because this is the time of the year that truly matters.